10 after the hour right now, a state lawmaker has introduced legislation to require background checks on gun ammunition sales. Fox 43's Chelsea Kerbler is live in Harrisburg to break down this bill. Chelsea, good morning. Good morning, Matt. Well, currently Pennsylvania does not have any regulating loss against the sale, purchase or possession of ammunition. But if this bill were to pass, that would change. So this bill would require that only licensed firearm dealers sell ammunition and would allow businesses to use existing licenses to sell both firearms and ammunition. Right now, Pennsylvanians who are prohibited from buying a gun can still purchase ammunition. New York, California, Connecticut, Illinois, Massachusetts, and New Jersey all have some type of regulating law on background checks to purchase ammunition. This bill is being reintroduced by State Rep Brian Sims of Philadelphia. He says it's mass shootings like the one at a movie theater in Colorado in 2012 as the reason behind the legislation. In that shooting, the perpetrator was able to legally order more than 6,000 rounds of ammunition online. Pennsylvania is sort of the Wild West when it comes to ammunition. Um, what we've seen from a number of mass shootings around the United States that in the days and weeks that led up to those mass shootings, the perpetrators were able to buy thousands of rounds of ammunition, highly specialized ammunition for, for weapons of war in, in a completely sort of unregulated environment. And so the hope is here to treat that ammunition, which is deadly, the way that we would treat guns, which are also deadly. State Rep Sims knows getting this bill passed will be an uphill battle as Republicans control both the State House and Senate and in the past have opposed this bill. I reached out to a spokesperson for House Leader Kerry Benninghoff and the House Republican Caucus, but he has not gotten back to me. So currently this legislation sits in the House Judiciary Committee waiting a vote. In Harrisburg, Chelsea Kerbler, Fox 43 News.